In this lecture by freeacademy.com, we're going to get into what I call real integration, aka U substitution. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to cover U substitution as a matter of convenience. Later, we're going to have to do it as a matter of necessity. And let me explain what that is really quickly. Um, in this equation, we have f of x equals, in parentheses, 3x squared plus 4, all raised to the third power, and then multiplied by 6x. We can multiply that all out and integrate it, which I did the unpleasant exercise of doing that beforehand. You can pause this video, work through it yourself, and then um, if you really want to, wouldn't recommend it. It's not very much fun, but it definitely is correct. But we want an easier way of doing that. So that's a uh, use substitution for convenience. However, the integral of say sine of 3x dx, we have no idea how to do this integral right now. We will use u substitution to find it, but that's going to be u substitution for necessity. Most books don't break that up. I just feel like that's an easier way of explaining it. We'll cover it in very short order. All right. Best way to demonstrate u substitution is by illustration. In the equation here, I'm going to pick an arbitrary function u of x which I'm going to leave out the act, that part because it's confusing. u equals 3x squared plus 4. Now we're going to implicitly differentiate this function, which is going to give us du equals 6x dx. And then, oh, hold on. Sorry about this. Actually, never mind. It's fine. All right, a little off topic. Okay, so after we implicitly differentiate, we get du equals 6x dx. And then I'm going to solve for dx to give me du over 6x. Now, why did I do that? Well, the 3x squared plus 4 is in our integrand here. That's u. Our uh, dx is right there. Let's substitute that stuff in. And this will give us the integral of u to the third. Six x du over six x. The six x's cancel and this integral becomes u to the third du, which you know how to do this now using the power rule. That's the power rule. Um, just want to point something out really quick right here. We could have just immediately substituted the 6x dx in right there without having to solve for dx, but uh, I do it this way because, uh, well, for starters, that's how I learned, and I feel it's a little bit more common too. Going back to our integral, the integral of u to the third du, we already know that that's one fourth u to the fourth plus c. Now we're going to substitute our u back into it, and we're going to get one fourth three x squared plus four to the fourth power plus c. That is our integral. That's the answer to the integral that we started out with. Now, if you ask me, that is one heck of a lot easier than solving out this whole equation and then doing the integral. It's much, much easier. I'm going to do a couple more practice problems just to really try to drive this home. All right, so let's find the integral of, let's just say, x plus 1 to the 75th power dx. Grab a different color here. What's our go u going to be? If you're going to pick that, what's it going to be? Well, I'm going to pick 
x plus 1. And the reason I'm going to pick that is because once you take the derivative of both sides, you get du just equals dx. So this becomes the integral of u to the 75th du after you substitute everything in. And I'm not going to bother solving that. We know how to solve that. That's just uh, the reverse of our power rule. So you may be wondering, you know, how did I pick that u? How do you know? You can pick anything. You can equal anything. The question is, will you be useful? This is just like uh, what we did before with our product rules, our derivatives rules, and our chain rules. When we picked, we made something f of x and we made something else g of x to apply the rules. You can pick it however you want, do it any way you want, but you need to come up with something that's useful or otherwise it's not going to help you at all. And let me demonstrate that. Let's go back a little bit. Let's just say I made ux. We picked u so that u of x, du equals dx. Now we're going to substitute this back into our equation. And what we get is u plus 1 to the 75th du. That's completely useless. And we're no closer to solving it then than we were before. So you have to pick a useful u. And, um,. Once you do that, it should simplify your integrand down into something that's uh, much, much easier to solve. So that's using it for convenience. Next lecture I'm going to cover, we're going to do situations where you absolutely have to use u substitution in order to solve them. And looking forward, we're going to get into pro problems that are more complicated where you might even have to use u substitution twice or more to actually solve them. But that's all for